Hey everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a ionization chamber. So here is what your finished design will probably look like. First you'll need a metal can without a coating on the inside. If there is a coating the ionization chamber won't work. Next you'll need a Darlington transistor. I would recommend a BC517. You can find these on Amazon and eBay. You'll also need a 9 volt battery. A connector for the battery. A resistor that has a value over 1k ohms. A multimeter. A foot or two of wire. And some aluminum foil or aluminum tape. First make a hole in the middle of the bottom of the can, then put the base pin of the transistor through the hole of the can making sure that the transistor's pins do not touch the can. Now connect a wire from the emitter pin to the negative terminal of the battery. Then connect the collector pin to the multimeter's negative lead. Now connect the resistor to the outside of the can, then connect the positive terminal of the battery to the resistor, and then connect a wire from the end of the resistor to the positive lead of the multimeter. Finally cover the open end of the can with aluminum foil or aluminum tape. Now you should have a functioning radiation detector, good for use in any apocalyptic situation. Here is a schematic if you would like to build it yourself. In 1939 Otter Robert Frisch used a device similar to what you just made to discover that nuclear fission exists. So your ionization chamber isn't some useless piece of garbage it is a scientific instrument that was used to discover the process that may provide the power you are using to watch this video. Ionization chambers are able to detect radiation because the gas inside it gets ionized. When a radioactive particle enters the chamber it ionizes the gas inside, lowering the resistance between the positively charged encasing and the negatively charged electrode, since ionized air is a better conductor than non-ionized air, as this happens, the voltage shown on the multimeter increases. The role of the Darlington transistor is to amplify the amount of current and output to allow the multimeter to read how much electricity is coming through. 